Hello again, Henson Huskies, and welcome back to an all new Books of the Week feature. We have three brand new books that we wanted to feature that you might not have seen yet on Destiny Discover. All of these are digitally available for you and would make fantastic reading material no matter what genre you generally like to read. Plus, we wanted to remind you to make sure you log all that amazing reading in your Beanstack account because we are still in our Winter Read 2021 challenge. There's just under a week left in January, and we are about 80% of the way to our school-wide goal. Our school goal is for 50,000 minutes of reading. That's every student and teacher combined. So as long as you keep reading and you keep a nice, honest, simple log of your reading minutes, we are going to make it, and it is going to be amazing, and possibly even win us some prizes and incentives for doing so well. With that being said, let me talk to you about our three books for this week. The first one is called The World Ends in April. This is the same author of The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl, if you read that one last year. It was a Black Eyed Susan nominee. So she's an amazing author. And this one is kind of like a funny middle school book. My favorite part is that the little subtext here says, sometimes middle school is scarier than an asteroid, which let's face it, is kind of true. With that being said, our main character's name is Eleanor, and she is in seventh grade and finds out that this asteroid might just be hitting Earth in April and is kind of starting to freak out. So she creates a club at the school, kind of an underground club, to help prepare kids for what the end of the world really is going to be and make sure that they are all ready. And so this has some, you know, a little bit of thriller suspense, but a lot of Light it, lighthearted humor as well. Plus, of course, it's just an amazing read, no matter what. So the world ends in April. Highly recommend. You can get it as an ebook. We also have a physical copy if you wanted it for our next curbside in February. My next selection is in audiobook format. It is called As Brave As You. It's Jason Reynolds, who, if you've never read Jason Reynolds, you need to read at least one of his books because they're all amazing. And this audiobook is especially great because not only does it tell you the story aloud, and that still does count for Beanstack, but this particular story focuses on two brothers who, let's just say the description tells you, they decide to prove how brave they really are, and it backfires, quite literally. So there's a great deal of realistic fiction in here with some heartbreak and a little bit of humor. Jason Reynolds is amazing, and you will never regret reading one of his books. So As Brave As You is an audiobook recommendation for you this week. And last but not least is this book called The Collectors. The Collectors is kind of a little bit of everything. So the official description says, overlooked in class, a hearing impaired boy who collects a lot of discarded trinkets discovers a dangerous underworld world, underground world full of stolen wishes and the people who collect them. So it's kind of a little bit mystery thriller, has a little edge of scary to it and a little edge of like magic fantasy as well. So that's why I think this book has a little bit of everything. The Collectors is incredible. Jacqueline West is a great author and you can get this as an ebook right on Destiny Discover right now. And no matter what you do, don't forget to log your reading in Beanstack and keep reading some amazing books because you are all doing a great job. With that being said, happy reading, Henson Huskies, and I will see your reading logs in Beanstack.